but uncensored truth right here on ISBC Truth Channel with your host, Pastor Michael Smith and co-host, Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumble across this channel. If this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we try to break the news on you. Make sure you guys hit that like button as well. We got some breaking news for you. Young thugs. You said brother? No, it's Young Thug, yeah, brother. Young Thug's brother. Of Fook. Huh? On Fook, that's his name. Uh, spell it. U-N-F-O-O-N-K. F-O-O-N-K. On Fook. On Fook. Mm-mm-mm. On Fook, I guess. <laughs> you, young Thug's brother. Un unfooked, go ahead. Sentence nine years in YSL Rico case. Nine years. So, see, see what I'm saying, people? To all of you young folks, it do not pay the gang. It do not pay the gang bang. It do not. You know what I'm saying? If all you are, well, let me tell you something. All of you blacks who are in them gangs, all you're doing is showing the other nations, is showing the white man how much of an uneducated you are. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what it's doing, Sir Smith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All these young gangbangers is doing is showing their enemy, is showing the white man how uneducated you are. Mm -hmm. Why? Because no other nation on earth is doing this. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sister Smith? Yeah. All the other nations on earth are sticking together, except you blacks, <laughs> except you Latinos, except you Haitians, except you Jamaicans. All nations. Let's see. The Chinese, they come over here, they stick together, they got their own bus company. Do you know, Sister Smith, do you know the Chinese got their own Greyhound? No, I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You got Greyhound, and then you got the Chinese bus. If you pay in, say, a hundred and a uh, hundred and something dollars to go from Cleveland to, say, New York on Greyhound, you know how much you'll be paying on a Chinese bus? How much? <laughs> About $60. That's all? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. There's a Chinese bus. <laughs> Everybody in New York knows about the Chinese bus. You know what I'm saying? It's cheaper than Greyhound. You know what I'm saying? It's cheaper. You know what I'm saying? But they see how the Chinese come together and they got their own bus company. They got their own Chinatown. They got their own, you know what I'm saying, Chinese restaurant. They got everything of their own in their own communities. You know what I'm saying? Even the unmelanated Caucasians, the white folks, they don't even mingle in and, and do the things that you guys do. You blacks look like the dumbest people on earth when it comes to the other, other nations. They look, even the Arabs, the Arabs come into your neighborhood and they, they got bodegas and all sorts of other stuff, right? And you gangbangers slaughtering each other, hurting each other. For what? For rap. For, for, what are they doing it for, Sister Smith? It don't make no sense. I can't even say what they, because I can't figure out why. A bragging rights? Yeah. You know, oh, I, I, I smacked this mama. Yeah. I smacked this child. I did this. And for what? Something like that. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous the way black folks are today. It is totally, utterly ridiculous. Go ahead. Young Thug's brother, Unfook, whose real name is Cortavius Greer, has been sentenced to nine years 
and six months in prison for violating the condition of his probations stemming from his plea deal in the S the YSL Rico case. Fans of Young Thug speculate that the popular rapper will now likely get sub substantially more time in prison than his brother, Media Takeout Learn. On Monday, Judge Ural Gavel has has harsh words for Gil, who police caught with a illegal firearm and ammunition last month. Judge recapped. And, and they don't learn. Here you is out on parole, out on supervised release. You are a convicted felon. You know good and well you ain't supposed to be around a pistol. Is something clicking in your head? Is something in your head that's clicking, that's saying, I should not be doing this? It's like, who is raising these folks, Sister Smith? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Cortavius' condition of release, he was not to put possess a gun, the district attorney office said. Yeah, it's like I said, if you're a convicted felon, if you're a convicted felon, you cannot be possessing any type of pistols. You can't. You can never even be around it. Matter of fact, as far as probation and parole, you ain't even supposed to be around anybody else who is a known felon or, or criminal. Because that's a violation. Go ahead. Quartavius signed an acknowledgement of having a firearm prohib prohibition of possessing firearm and ammunition and having a Glock 9 in the car. Baby, he was baby. Huh? It's, it's a, it's a Glock line? It's, it's a Glock line. I said Glock 9. Glock 9 or Glock line? Glock. Glock. With a GL. Yeah, Glock. Glock nine. Okay, Glock. He <laughs> went by said Grock. Oh. Grock line. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, nine in the car he was driving, stage six and seven. Mm -hmm. I find that base. I find that basic upon the evidence presented in this case, the state has proven by preponderance to the evidence that you have violated your probation in the three, in the, in the three means as set for in paragraph four of the petition. Now, I hope conclude. some of you gangbangers understand that if just look at these cases of these other gangbangers who's going to prison, why would you still want to continue to gangbang knowing the future of gangbanging? You hear that, Sister Smith? Yeah. Knowing that you see the rapper Casanova is begging and pleading to get free. You know what I'm saying? Knowing all of these other so-called gangbangers is doing time in prison, why would you continue to repeat the cycle knowing where it's going to lead? It ain't leading nowhere. What is the issue, black folks? Go ahead. The judge also rejected submission by Quavi Quartavius lawyer to consider relocation of two years off his sentence. Uh, the issue that I find aggravating, oh God. 
Oh, Lord. All right, all right. It, ju it jumped off. All right, let's see. So, there you have it, people. Them young thugs brother is revoked and speaking speaking of nine nine is completion you know what i'm saying so so there's a there's a similitude to that as well i, I got it back go ahead uh the issue that i find aggravating in this particular circumstances are several you got arrested with a gun with within six months of you being placed on probation and i agree with the state that you are not a candidate for probation all you have to do was complete your probation and do what you are supposed to instead you were riding around in the, in the car with a gun in violation of your probation and what this court explicitly have a conversation with you about the judge said as he pointed out that he is reversing the probation and the balance of nine years and six months will apply for Greer that's it mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. there you have it listen yeah yeah I need to <laughs> it's high time to wake out of sleep. It definitely is. Sister so Smith, it's, it's high time. Oh, you know, no. it's, it's 2023. Yeah. It's 2023. And you young black men today doing this dumb stuff. But you claim that you're so smart. Right. <laughs> These young folks claim that they're so smart, but they, they cannot see... Nothing. They cannot see that gang banging leaves you. They're a you bunch of zombies. That's what they are. <laughs> Robot. Exactly. It leaves you two places. You are so smart, young men. Young black men, you are so smart. You claim to be. You claim to know more than your elders. That's why you disrespect your elders. You claim to know more than your elders, but you cannot see that game bangers only lead two places. Two places. Where are them two places that game banger lead you, Sir Smith? Jail or death. Jail and hell. Those are the two places that game banger leads you. And if you can't see that, Lord, Lord, Lord. I tell you, people. Anyway, that's the news. Young Thug's brother got probation, got revoked because he want to ride around with a pistol. Who are you impressing? Right. Listen, do you want your freedom or do you want to impress and, and impress somebody so that somebody can, you can show them that you are more. Yay, look at him. Yeah. That you are more tougher than, than the rest. Do you want your freedom or do you want to impress people? What are you doing? Because that's what they're doing, Sister Smith. I know. They're trying to impress. They're trying to out-thug one another. I that's know. what that is. Trying to out-thug one another. Well, let them out-thug each other in jail. Lord, Lord, Lord. It's a shame. And, and, and to all of you other young folks out there, you know what I'm saying, if you follow behind this garbage, you know what I'm saying, if you follow behind these, these young, uneducated, unlearned individuals, then, listen, there's only two places for you, jail and hell, jail or hell. When freedom is just that is, you want to know the truth? Bible study class is open every night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is no excuse because the Bible study class is free. Free. All you have to do is simply hit that, uh, um, go to Facebook, in the search box, type Illuminati Radio, and tune in. That's it. Till next time. 
I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across this channel. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when we try to break the news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can uh, so you can we can say lit. Till next time, stay tuned. How you bless you all. Ba-ba-ba-ba, how you bless you all, how you bless you.